Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Ricky Cadden, back again with another Tuesday real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. Let's dive in. The SBY pulling back some finally after such a massive bullish run since the start of June. We rose almost 7%. Um, huge pullback. Great great pullback um it's going to have a few there's going to be a few pullbacks in a in a few stocks great dip buying opportunities coming up so keep your eyes on a dip um if we just take a look at the spy on the five minute we pretty much just as soon as we opened we broke this support level broke it retested broke lower retested this previous low and just rolled rolled down the whole day so if you did get a chance to play the SPY today then congrats to you guys uh it was an awesome day to trade um especially on the bearish side uh, i'll take a look at uh the only trade that i took today which was pyx um not a huge day trade on this one just play this one on the uh, on the three minute uh we had a nice uh, we had a nice gap and go, right? Gapping above the 20 EMA. And I thought most likely we'll probably trade to about the 50. Um, if we take a look at the three minute, I'll zoom in here. We had the retest, okay? We had the retest, some people sold off, came higher, and then we created these nice little double bottom with a, a beautiful higher low here so i took my entry above here with a stop below here and got out for one hour just up here just before it rolled down so um that was my trade on pyx not a huge day but all in all still ending in the green here's netflix netflix um ironically going bearish after gapping up to, uh, uh, sorry, after trading straight to a solid resistance level right here. So um, we did get some bear, uh, some bears come in late on Monday. If you take a look at the five minute, pretty much the whole afternoon, the whole afternoon on Monday, people were starting to sell off. The bears were coming in and, uh, we did gap down slightly and traded lower. So Netflix, look to buy the dip. If you take a look at the daily, um, yeah, there is a cute little double bottom pattern here happening and this could be the retest to go higher. Um, I'm just gonna stick to, I'll, I'll probably look to go long on Netflix when the SPY starts to bounce and the queues. So, Keep your eyes on the broader markets and just base your trades, base your trades on them for now. Um, but definitely, if if Netflix does come back down to, you know, this this three three forty three level again, just it's been a beautiful buying location. It just keeps bouncing. So great buying opportunity coming up on Netflix. Here's the one I missed on Google today. Uh, now this was just an absolute glorious setup and I am kind of annoyed that I missed it. But if you take a look at the five minute, look at this, look at this uh, beautiful triangle that we formed yesterday. So we did have a solid base and we did start to create lower highs. Not only that, when we opened today, we had a bearish five minute high wave candle. And if you were going to take this, bearish you would have had an entry here with a stop above here and that is just a massive that would have been at least a four or five hour trade right there so can't win them all can't catch them all but all in all it was a beautiful move on google on the daily where do i think google's going uh, well we did come down uh we did come down and close below the the 10 again. So most likely, I do expect this to just move with the broader markets, probably come down here, form a nice little double bottom, and I'll definitely be looking to buy here at 10.45. Um, so keep your eyes on Google for a buy the dip opportunity. Um, 
but everything is looking to have a nice pullback. Here's Amazon. Amazon doing pretty much the same thing as Google and most of the other tech sectors. On the five minute, we gapped barely, only just barely. And if you see this five minute high wave candle right here, we broke the lows here, broke down, retested, and then just crashed and burned. Um, was a great trade. There were there was a real life trader who did catch that move on Amazon. So well done to you, um, guys. If you're not in, if you're not in this morning room or the afternoon swing trading floor, you guys are missing out. There is so much, so much great setups out there that we're talking about. Um, like here's one on MU. Here's one on MU. Okay, so we are gapping up after hours. We did come back down to this support level. A lot of bears are going to be trapped tomorrow at open. However, I don't think, even though this will be a gap and go, if we do gap above this high here, I do think that if we do go bullish, we'll probably only trade up to about the 50 um, and then probably retrace. Because if it, it is gapping up over almost uh, over 10%. So I don't think that this is going to gap up 10% and then keep running bullish. Uh, it's just not what MU usually does. But um, so definitely look for a fade opportunity on MU tomorrow. Uh, does look bullish at the moment. But uh, yeah, look to lock in some gains if you are in MU. Here's WDC and I'm in currently in call options, got in on this day right here, right at that level. Uh, so currently up just over 2R and I'm pretty sure we are gapping up after hours to 42.50. Yep, so 42.50, I'll be trailing my stop quite aggressively here, guys. Um, just because most of the market is pulling back now. So I do expect there to be some sort of retracement and then I'll just look to buy again on WDC. So well done for all the traders who are in WDC long term. Shopify. Now, I spoke about this, guys. If you go back and have a listen to my review on the 10th of June on this day right here, I did say we were. I was pretty much calling the top on this one. Um, did miss it by about a week. But however, this is where I said that most likely we are going to chop around sideways and um, basically just consolidate at this price on Shopify. I would like Shopify to come back a fair bit. If we can come down to 240, 248, definitely would be a great buying opportunity on Shopify. But uh, on this one, guys, just look to buy the dip and probably just hold it long term in your portfolio. It's a great stock to have. Great company, doing great things. And all in all, just a glorious pullback. We are coming into the 50-day EMA um, and we could bounce. However, most likely it'll probably be a little short bounce, come a little bit lower. And then oh, this would be a glorious, glorious Glorious time to buy right here if we can come back down to these lows from back in May. So keep your eyes on Shopify, guys. We are pulling back and it is looking superb. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets, all odds. Uh, right, okay, so the all odds currently just chilling up here. If I have a look at the hourly, Okay, yep. Yeah. So most likely, this guys, this is a lot nice little double top here. Um, what I do expect to happen, this happens quite a lot on the All Lords, okay? We do get the double tops quite often. So from here, uh, most likely what I expect to happen, um, as the market does pull back a little bit, I do expect probably something of this juncture to occur right here. So maybe something like that. Okay, so if I bring up the long-term moving averages, that would coincide with pretty much what's been going on for the last three months. So uh, look to buy the dip. Um, most likely we probably will trade back down to the 200 on the hourly. 
so definitely keep your eyes open for that. If you're in any long-term trades, and I'll just take a look at some in a minute, but um, if you're in some long-term trades, definitely look to lock in some profits. We are edging ever so closely to this all-time high and guys we will definitely hit that this year so um get excited be pumped just look to keep buying those dips here's cba uh currently in a short position got in today uh on cba if i just take a look you if you ask why it's pretty much just basically at a resistance level and um we have traded up from mid-May, we've already come up about 15%. So I do expect there to be some people locking in some profits and most likely trade back down to about $80 and then look to chop around here for a little bit. Um, CBA looking really, really juicy um, at the moment for a short. If I just take a look at the five minute for you guys here, we are creating lower highs here and here is that beautiful solid base so once we take out these lows and these lows and these lows um yeah the, most likely we are going to head a little bit lower so if you are in cba look to sell some premium or sell some covered calls maybe get into a collar position um but definitely look to lock in some gains on cba here's qantas and qantas is just looking amazing right now um we are at a buy low sell high location guys we are at support and not a not a huge amount of volume coming in yet um and we are at support and so this does to me because we are reject because we are rejecting the or the 100 and the 200 quite a lot i do expect this thing probably to be a little bit weak it is a buy low sell high location guys uh if we just take a look at the weekly chart see if there's anything else we are below the 100 so if the if Qantas does come back down to the 200 on the weekly that would definitely be a nice nice opportunity to buy um, but in the short term on the daily on the daily short term does look a little bit bullish uh looks like it look, looks like it could reverse but uh so maybe tread tread with caution uh buying on Qantas right now because you probably get it a little bit lower in the next month or two got a request for pls pilbara mining pilbara minerals sorry um if I take a look at the daily now this is quite interesting so on the weekly chart, we have closed below the 200 on the weekly. Um, and just last week, I thought that PLS was actually going to bounce because we didn't actually close below these previous lows here. Um, we, did, we did start to bounce, but looking, looking at where we are right now, and it, depending on how this week closes, we're looking a little bit a little bit on the weak side guys so most likely if we do trade lower um we'll probably only if we do trade lower we'll probably only come down to about 39 cents um that would definitely be a nice buy low location if you take a look at the monthly that should coincide with the 100 simple moving average on the monthly chart should help hold that stock up once we get there um, but on the weekly it does look a little bit weak if you're looking to um, start dabble like not dabbling but if you're looking to start creating a position on pls you can pyramid into this um, so i would probably you know look to buy have a small position here buy some shares and then slowly increase your position as the stock does drop um and then obviously get in a little bit more heavier down here if you are but all in all mitigate your risk only only risk one r if you are doing so but um pls it is a nice pullback and does look good for a long term trade this is not a short-term trade it doesn't move that much um, but yeah we are 
we are resisting the 100 and 200 simple moving average quite a bit. So that's PLS um, looking a little bit weak, but all in all, keep buying the dip. Here's Newcrest, Newcrest Mining. Now take a look at the week, the daily guys. This is a beautiful little evening star reversal pattern. Um, and gold is starting to retrace a minute. We did have a massive run up here um, because we because gold had such a bullish run. So if you did get to take some profits on Newcrest, um, well done. If you haven't yet already, and you're maybe in some long-term shares, probably look to sell some covered calls or get into a collar position up here. Um, otherwise, just yeah, look to take, look to lock in some profits, guys. This 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 run up that it's had is in the last like since, just since the start of May is over thirty percent. So if you bought shares in May, you're you're almost you've <laughs> almost you bought you've got thirty percent up on your money. So um, lock it in, lock it in. Don't be afraid to lock in your profits and then buy back in at a lower price. Um, Newcrest looking a little bit extended at the moment. Here's Coca-Cola. Uh, Coca-Cola can't not be bullish on Coca-Cola. I mean, if you take a look at the weekly chart, only at the start of the year, guys, we were, we did retrace back to the lows that we had back in 2009. So this was definitely the time to start loading up on your positions or, you know, increasing your size and going long here. Um, but Coca-Cola, we are, we are at a slight resistance level right here. And as you can see, we are creating some upper wicks here on the weekly chart. Take a look at the daily. Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit gappy, a little bit all over the shop. Um, most likely, if you're looking to own some shares here, I would be buying the dip. Um, probably look to sell some puts on this one down here at $9. If you can get any premium here, uh, that would probably be my best bet if you're looking to get into some sort of position on Coca-Cola. But other than that, guys, I would just look to buy the dip probably at about you know 9.46 or, or 9.16. Or 9 That's where I would probably start to look at forming some sort of position on Coca-Cola. Here's gold and gold just looking glorious. Finally getting the pullback, guys. Uh, it was a very obvious spot to pull back. Um, as you can see, we did come straight back into this resistance from back in 2013. And uh, yeah, so beautiful pullback on gold. Um, a lot of traders making a lot of money on gold, which has been absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, so from here, guys, I am actually long on gold now. So I would look to buy the dip. Uh, from this breakout, from this breakout here, uh, probably come down, probably look to buy at 1380 or 1366. That would be where I would look to start entering a long position. Um, obviously, tread carefully. Um, but obviously, uh, yeah, look for a little bit of a consolidation phase, uh, a little bit of a consolidation period as it falls, um, probably something like this, and then look to, you know, get in long here and have a stop below here. So gold, beautiful pullback. Um, well done to all those who have made money on gold. His oil just keeps on crushing higher. Uh, we, did, we did hit the 100 and 200 simple moving average and we are slightly just closing above it at the moment. Um, but from here, just stay long. Uh, most likely, if we do get a small dip, it will be a buy the dip opportunity. So US oil or crude oil looking great for a long. Here's the Aussie dollar. Uh, okay, the Aussie dollar finally pushing up, pushing up from these lows. If we can come up to the 100 and the 200 simple moving average, that would be just an amazing short opportunity for anyone, any of the Forex traders out there. Uh, currently today, we do have an inside day, so we could potentially start to roll down again here, but uh, 
yeah, Aussie dollar, you guys know I'm not overly bullish on the Aussie dollar right now. Um, so just keep shorting the highs as you get those opportunities. Here's GBP, JPY. Now I spoke about this last week saying a good opportunity would to be to have a, a long entry here and a stop below here. Uh, we did come up and we are retesting. So if you're not in the trade, uh, it is at a solid support level and the trade still does look good to go long here. Haven't got that much volume coming in yet. Um, but there was a lot of volume selling yesterday. So I do expect some buyers to come in today or tomorrow. Well, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you've got any more stock tickers that you want me to look at, leave it in the comment section below. Um, but I'll be back on Thursday with another real life stock review. And until then, love life, live life and trade it. Bye.